Hey, what's up, guys? We are going through the ghost pass today. Oh. I don't know what's going on. Hey, what's up, guys? We are going through the ghost pass today. Um, I already started this, and then I remembered, oh, shoot, I should be recording. Um, okay, so, uh, you come in here. This is a big open room. There's no enemies. There's one guy here. Who's like in a locked cell for some reason? I guess he just died here and nobody came back to do anything. But there's no corpse, so I don't know. Maybe he locked himself in here. Um, there's like uh, uh, this thing, spiritual varnish in here, in in this bucket that you can pick up. And I guess this guy's like a practice. You can you can practice fighting him if you're uncertain. Um, spirit the spiritual varnish gives you ethereal element when applied and I think it's supposed to help with these ghosties um, I think they're weak to it but who knows um, there's a there's a guy over there he's got a strong looking axe too um, but you have to go I think you have to go around to get to him anyways kill that guy if you feel comfortable then it's time to progress down here and there's one guy who'll like pop out of the ground. I think that's how they spawn. Or not spawn, but that's how they show up. They just like pop out of the ground here. Um, killed this guy, and then there was another guy down there. I lured him over here and killed him. And then there's like, there's like really nothing in here. In here, there's like uh, those red star plants in here. I don't know why I never remember the names. There's a recipe here for some pungent paste or whatever. And that's as far as I got. Okay. Uh, you can't go, can't go in here, because this is like a shortcut back, I guess. You just drop down the ledge. Um, so let's see what's down this way. So I found out that if you apply something to your weapon, like the spiritual varnish, it actually does apply. I don't know if the fire still applies though, so I need to figure that out. Oh, oh, look at that! I can just come in here and fight him. There's probably a chest in there too. How much oil do I have? I have plenty of oil. Can I go this way? Oh, you can't. Oof, okay. Alright, I'm going to use this. And use this. I think you get like three minutes of the spiritual varnish. Okay, about three minutes. Do some enrage that just increases my impact damage. Ooh, coming in hot and heavy. I see. Oh, <gasps> what was that? How did you just do like a ton of damage on me without me even realizing? You know what? I'm not gonna run away, I'm gonna kill you. the hell is going on? Oh, he, he does like some attack in front of him. So, careful of that. Wendigos do the same thing where they cast like... Oh, look, the fire still applies. He's burning right now. Oh. Oof. Oof, he's coming. I gotta go heal. I'm gonna go heal. Drink, 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 drink! Yes! Come on, buddy. And he's done! Woo! Get some ice varnish. Ghost eyes and man of stone, perfect. Cool. Okay, so he's not too bad. Even though he almost killed me twice. Um, I guess you just gotta strafe around him. He doesn't... Okay, he's got that one combo. Which is like, okay. I see you. And then he, he's got that... That other thing. Where he like... 
opens a portal to hell. Tries to suck you in or something. So beware the portal to hell. Oh. Oh. Do I do I do I want to? Do I want to do this? The hell did that just do? I would open this door. And see that purple glowing? That's another enemy. Hopefully there's just one of him. There is. These guys have your standard uh, three hit combo. You're on fire though, so you're gonna die soon. Boop. It's in. Okay, I haven't tried fighting these guys without the spiritual varnish on yet, so I don't know what kind of. Oh, what the hell are you? Oh no, they're both coming at me! <sighs> okay, let's separate them. Why was my weapon not out? I don't like playing with shields when I play games like this because I feel like, you know, I feel so bad and I like, I prefer to like, oh shoot he dodged it. I prefer like dodging and stuff but this game it will, like these guys will take a lot out of you. Don't stand in a doorway, Jesus. He keeps doing two hit combos and I'm expecting a third one. Come on. Hey, look at that. I set him on fire through his through his uh his guard attack. Or gu guard attack? It was guard. Okay, lots of mana stones from these guys. Where does this go? Oh, I think this takes you up to that chest. The shortcut. Yep, it does. <gasps> Brutal Great Axe? Look at that! 33 and 36! I don't know how I feel about that. This is good. Look at that. So my, damage, my, my weapon does 32 and 35. It's got an attack speed of 1. Whereas this is 33 and 36. Point nine. Oh, but it's two-handed, and it's slow as hell. I think I'll stick to this. Okay, just checking my backspace. All right, cool, cool. I think a lot of these chests are random. Did you just try to spit something at me? You little shit. Okay, that wasn't too bad. He was getting staggered a lot. Illuminator Horror. Accurate. <laughs> Anytime I see something that looks like that and has horror in its name, I instantly think of Lovecraft. Because, you know, he's the father of cosmic horror, so it's fitting. Ooh, look. Can I open this gate now? Oh, what the heck? Oh, you can't. What? Okay, yeah, this... I've been here. Do I go down? I don't know if I want to go down deeper. Is another illuminator horror? Just dodge that. What the hell, character? You trying to get us killed here? Thank you for just standing and waiting. Let's mine this. Okay. <gasps> Scaled leather. Perfect. I say perfect a lot. I don't know why. I don't want those mushrooms. Ooh. Two ways to go. Oh, this probably takes you back up that one way. Maybe not. 
have more iron scraps. Oh, maybe it does. We're going to go full circle here. Gravel beetle. I will take it. <gasps> what is this? Palladium vine? Vane? Ooh, and a small sapphire, too. Oh, what is this? What the? What did that do? Let's find out. Oh, shoot. How many of these guys are down here? Wait, you want to go? You want to go? Oh, it's just one guy. You know what? I'm going to humiliate you. You can't hit me. Can you stand still, please? I thought I'd humiliate him. It turns out he's humiliating me. Alright, well, time to die. You're gonna die for your insolence. Okay, so I definitely do more damage with the spiritual varnish. But, oh shoot, what the heck, bro? thought we were friends. Is that how you treat all your friends? You know, you really are the scum of the planet. <gasps> Look at this, they got gravestones. Okay, what was the point of this? Where is this gonna take me? Where am I? I'm lost. What is this? What 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 is what is what is this? Oh, it's just like us. <gasps> oh, I didn't even. S Ooh, look at that. There's something on it. I'm gonna pull this lever and send it back up. Is this the exit? Oh cool, look at that. Dungeon's over. There's another one of those guys. Okay, Let's save that guy for last. There's probably an ornate chest in this dungeon somewhere. And I wanna find it before I leave. <laughs> do you're gonna burn to death if you don't if you don't kill me soon well he'll still burn to death even if he does kill me so he's shit out of luck oh you know what I just wanna let me just rest in my fur tent beautiful 100% chance of ambush let's just do four four okay let's do that I don't know what happens if you get ambushed I assume you die <laughs> but because, you know, you're asleep, so... Um... I don't know, it'd be interesting if you, like, wake up and there's just, like, two or three enemies around you. That would be interesting, because then at least they give you a, a chance. But... I don't know. I've never been ambushed before. I always make sure that the ambush is... Below... 5% or below, usually. 
because I feel like, you know, 5% probably, probably not going to die. Let's have some of this. Why am I still carrying this with me? Perfect. Okay. Oh, there's still that section down, down, down there that I didn't uh, really check out. Heckmanite. What is this? Oh, this is the starting area. Oh, and I was over there on the other side of this. Cool. I like that. What? Do I have a hex on me? Oh, mana re Oh, it's from the food. Mana recovery. Nice. Okay, so there's a shortcut. I guess we should just fight this guy. And I'll do it. Should I do it without my backpack? Do it without the backpack. Oh, he's behind another. Oh, he's behind another section. What's up, buddy? Come over here so I can hit you. Doesn't open. What about this? Ah, there we go. Now I can open it. So if uh, if I if I need to heal or something, I can run over here and just be like, nope. Oh, this doesn't even go back down. I'd have to hit the switch and lock him in there. All right, all right. I see you. I see you. Uh, let's loop myself up. Do that. I don't know why. I don't think it's necessary at all. Um, enrage. And let's go. He was ready. Look at him. I actually got lucky. Oh, look at that medium ruby. I actually got lucky that I staggered him because he was about to wreck my day and my butthole. Sorry, not sorry. Drop. Perfect, perfect. Oh, look at these. These guys look like they were having some fun. Look at how long they are, though. Look at that neck. They're like aliens. These guys were torturing aliens. And there's the ornate chest I was looking for. Another brutal great axe. And some hackmanite. Oh yes, I can sell that. Half plate armor. I'm probably going to get overweight now. Bag overweight. Oh, but I can still run. Gradually slows your movement speed as the weight increases. Ah, okay. So now I got two of these that I can sell. Compare this. Two protection, fourteen resistance, eleven impact resistance. Um, and mine gives me hot weather defense. This one does minus minus three to movement and plus three to stamina cost. Mine just does minus. Okay, so something else that I can sell. Go away. I'll drop this. Does not open from here doesn't look like it opens at all what's the point of that oh when you what the heck oh ch I dropped them cool it's a good thing uh, I had to go back in that room <laughs> <coughs> oh where am I going I'm gonna go back down to that section that I uh, 
I didn't search because I did pull a lever and I don't know what that lever did what's over here oh is this the starting area yeah it is this is oh no it's not starting area this is another section Oh, nope, nope. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, no, not that way. Ma! So apparently I've been here. Where is this? This is here. Oh, okay, so that... Okay, I see where, where I am now. So I didn't come this way. How are fish living in here? This must have been an underwater cave at some point. How do I get up there? Hmm. How do I get up there? That is a question I would like answered. Well, you'd think it would be from over there, right? Ah well. Ah well? Ah well. Who cares? I can't carry much more stuff anyways. Alright, and that was the ghost pass. Woo! I remember I came in here when I like first started playing. Well, I mean not when I first started, but like after a while I found this place and I was like, oh, this is interesting. What is this? And I think someone actually gave me a quest to go through here. Um... But I came through here, or I tried to come through here, and I remember the first, the first ghost that showed up, and it was just kicking my butt, and I was like, oh my god, and I started running away, and then I ran into the two more that were downstairs, and I was running around, because I was like, I don't know what I was doing, because obviously this is a dungeon, so, like, there's gonna be more enemies, and I just kept running around, I had three of them on me, and I decided, this is dumb, and I just left, because, you know, fight three of those ghosts at the same time especially while I was already losing the one um, blood under the sun let's see I know there was someone who told me to go through the ghost pass for some reason no no one told me to go through the ghost pass maybe I was dreaming it there's probably gonna be a ghost or a bandit out here so I should be careful I don't want them to sneak up on me like they always do oh there's a chest it's just hiding here it's camouflaged oof bag overweight we can drop some arm uh, some arrows how much are these arrows two yeah two would do it what do I not want I don't want this Okay, I'm not overweight anymore. See, it's times like this where it's like, all right, it's time to go back to Sierzo or something. Um, that's why I use the second character, the split screen, to carry all my stuff that I don't need on me right now, so that I can still adventure and collect things. Oh, birdie, birdie, birdie! You're gonna die. And I know you're going to die because you're either going to run away. Oh, there we go. I thought you'd at least be on fire. There you go. Yep, you didn't get far. That happened once before where I was fighting one. And I hit him twice and he started running away. And I was like, oh, shoot. And then he was on fire. So I was like, eh, he won't get far. And he did not. He died pretty quickly. Is there anything up there? Hello? Hello? can't get up there anyways that'd be mean put a chest with like the strongest weapon in there they're just like haha can't get up here is that a chest I see in the distance look at that there's a whole region over here where am I I'm over here no 
am I? Yes, no. So I went in here and I exited here. Where does this bridge take me then? Wait, I'm so confused right now. Is that a mantis shrimp in the distance? Oh boy, I don't know where I am. What is that thing? I don't want that stuff. What is that? Oh, what is that thing? Let's see, it's to my north. So it's probably the Cabal of Wind Tower. I'm overweight. How? I didn't pick anything up. Oh wait, I picked up meat. That's lovely. Uh, I'm not gonna fight you today. I will spare your life. Allow you to live. This is a nice bridge. Look, you got the water going to the ocean, river going to the ocean. So, the reason why I'm still recording right now is because I want to show you guys something. You can farm some SAR stones over there, I think. There's like a graveyard or something. And like, spirit guy comes out of it. Or, you know, you go do something and a spirit guy comes out. And you, uh, you fight him. And he drops SAR stones, which is awesome. Uh, SAR stones give you, like, let you craft um, some strong weapons and some really good armor as well. Man, look at these things. Ba -bum. Let's go up here. Hermit's house. Yeah. So once you've successfully made it through the ghost pass, um, and you unlock the shortcut, you can come here anytime. It's quite a trip to just get to the ghost pass, and then you have to go. I mean, once you go around it, I guess it's not too bad. Yeah, because it's pretty quick to get through it now with that shortcut. So coming back here would be easy. But, there's a hermit in here who is very nice and he will teach you skills. Skill. Oh, there he is. Excellent. A visitor. The Cabal shares its wisdom with those who respect the five winds. Reason, passion, fury, kindness, and the inside wind. Listen to me. To use the spells I teach, find the wind totems in every region. Then you may use these spells in that region. The totems are topped by a bird statue. You'll recognize them. Okay. I think he means the wind ones specifically. So like this one. And these two. Okay, this gives you the effects of boons on your increased. Cool. For example, resistance by 20 would increase to... What is this? Increase your hot and cold weather defense by 8 and your decay resistance by 5. Oh, it's 100. That's stupid. Reveal soul. Reveals a bluish soul orb left by deceased thieves and adventurers. Certain spells may, must be cast in proximity to a soul. So this is nice if you have mana. Um, because if you have mana, you could use this, and then you could use another spell on the souls that will give you health, which is awesome, except you have to have mana. So in order to have mana, you got to give up some health, which is dumb. Plus, if you sleep, you lose 50% of your mana until you restore it, so it kind of sucks. Grants you a boon that varies according to your location when casting this spell. Hmm. Interesting. But also requires mana. Inflicts no damage, has high impact in a wide area in front of the caster. Can we combine with other spells for powerful effects? So this, I want this. What? Call to elements must be learned first. So I gotta spend 150. Well, that sucks. Why do you suck? How are you? I'm good, thank you. 
Ooh, look at that. 75, 75. 41. Perfect. Sell these, because I don't want them. What is this? Temperature increases your impact resistance and your physical damage. And the physical damage your attacks deal and grants the rage boon. What? That is awesome. Ice varnish. <laughs> your weapon also inflicts slowdown. Cool. Let's sell those. Let's sell these rags. What else do I want to sell? I'll sell these. Then emit a luminous haze using recipes. Maybe I won't sell those. Sell these because I don't want them. These will give you palladium scraps if you break them down, which are worth the same amount, interestingly enough. Small sapphire. Ah, what the hell? Let's sell it. Sell this. 12 of these. Man, that was a good haul. Look at that. 393. I don't know why I'm keeping the scaled leather. Do I need it? It's only seven, but I think it's like twenty-five to buy. Excellent. Listen to me. I'm listening. Let's get that. Let's get that. Oh look, it says activated wind altar required. This does not need the wind altar. So just these two. This increases the impact and attack speed of your melee weapon for three minutes. <gasps> That's nice. Your stamina burn increases more quickly, however. Oh, that sucks. Nice, but also sucks. And it costs mana. Create a magic circle on the ground. Certain skills have additional effects when cast within the circle. If you're a mage, this is what you want. Because this will make you a beast fighting everything. This is nice if you're a melee user. But see, to do to get to break this lock thing you have to use your um can't remember what they're called, but you only have three of them. So you gotta choose which skills you want. And then because you use you can use three. And that's it for the whole game. This lets you re conjure, it lets you uh summon uh the dead. So it's like it's necromancy. Where are my skills? There they are. I got this. An immaculate taught me it for free, but it requires mana. This also requires mana. There's only five though. I guess I could go get some mana and just use just use this every now and then. That'd be nice. Hmm. It's an idea. Uh, I don't have an alchemy kit in here, do you? They do not. <gasps> they have a junk pile. Nice, nice. Dark varnish confers the decay element. That's nice. Recipe. Perfect. Now that I've stolen your items, oh, I'm oh, going please. to sell them back to you. Because you're a sucker. Don't want that. I want that one. What else did I steal from you? Here you go. Hey, hey, hey. And I'll keep those. And what? And what? Oh. Let's learn. Let's learn this. Just to get it out of my bag. And I'm going to use the rest. I hate some of these things decay, like this thing. I get it, it's a plant. It's a mushroom, I guess. But it's like, why do you have to decay? Why does this beetle have to decay? Why, Like, it's a beetle. I mean, I know I'm not feeding it or nothing, but like, it should stay alive, right? Salted alpha meat that rots very slowly while retaining the special meat's qualities. 
Oh, that's what you make with the alpha meat. <gasps> oh, I can use their kitchen. Oh, but I don't need their kitchen. I need an al alchemy kit. Old man, do you have an alchemy kit? Can I use his bed? Can't use his bed. But, here's the thing. You can do this. And see? Zero ambush. You just sleep all day. Although you will get hungry and thirsty. See, look, I'm, I'd be dead if I <laughs> if I slept for too long. Um, interestingly, interestingly enough, you can use... Oh, I, I've never showed you guys the seeds. So you can get these seeds, and they make a plant tent that you can use, and it will spawn a plant tent in here. So I guess the plant tent doesn't need to be somewhere um it can that the plant can grow. The plant just grows out of thin air I guess. It grows right out of the seed anywhere. Um and the plant tent will actually replenish your hunger and thirst while you sleep. So it's pretty cool. So you can use it in here and then you won't need to um you won't need to worry about hunger. This gives you the possessed boon, which increases your decay damage. I wonder if you could use. Oh, you probably could. You could probably use this and this. That way you get an element and and decay. Look, there's four elements. There's I'm assuming wind, fire, electricity, and what is that? The black one. Is that? It's not decay. Maybe it's poison. Element, element, element. Should be ice. Oh, maybe it is ice. It's fire, ice, electricity, and decay. I don't know. All right. I think that's. I think that's all. Day eighty-nine. I think that's all I need to show you. Or that I want to show you, anyways. Unless I go to that cabal of wind tower, which I might do but I don't know yet. Alright, thanks for watching this episode, if you are, and goodbye!